Hi, I'm Paul from Production Expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use video inside of Studio One. Now, I've got this track here, and we recorded the video while we were, while we were recording the track. And I wanna import that edited video now into Studio One. So there's a couple of things that we need to think about when we're doing this. But first of all, let's load the video in, and then we'll see where we are. If I go to View, and choose Video Player, Right, this window appears. And what I need to do is to import the movie into Video Player. So we need to click on this plus button here. Right, I'm gonna to go to the folder where this video is kept. And let's click on that. Right, as you can see, this screen appears. Now, if I had two monitors, that's absolutely fine because I could move over this video to my second monitor. But as I'm only using one monitor, I'm gonna reduce the video. So I can either squash the video up here, or what we can do, is to go to our wrench icon here and just choose half size. But let's move that out of the way so I can still see the track that's going on at the same time. So now if I play the video, let's see if there's any issues. Stained glass paint on the window light. Okay, so instantly the video is out of sync with the track. So I need to find a point in this video where I'm gonna offset the timing of the video so it syncs up with Studio One. So in Studio One, let's find the point where she's gonna to start to sing, and then I'm gonna use Offset just to get it in sync with Studio One. Let's have a look. Now, if I click my Video Offset button here, what I can do is to adjust the video with the audio. Right, I know it's quite far out, so I'm gonna use here, and I'm just gonna find the point. I'm gonna drag it down to where she starts singing, which is about there. Let's have a look. Glass paint on the window light. It's still just a little bit out, so let's reduce it just a little bit more. Pouring through bright like you and I Made in a stream so now the only thing left to do is to export that video out of Studio One. So if I go to Song, choose Export Video, this window now pops up. So what I can choose is the different video types, Export Range, the whole length of the video, between the loops, between the Song Start and End marker, and between selected markers. Now I'm going to choose the video as I want it the length of the video as I know it's been edited that way. And I'm going to leave all this bypass master effects off as I don't want to affect my master bus compressors and limiters. All I need to do now is push OK. And now that video is exporting onto my desktop. I'm Paul from Production Expert. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. 